so the theme for this year's flower show is the Garden Electric, um, which they've uh, they have left sort of open to interpretation um, by the exhibitors. Um, so the, the the name of Temple's exhibit this year is the Power of Nature Plug Into It. The theme of Temple's exhibit ties into the the larger flower show, the larger flower show theme um, by by exploring uh, the distribution of abandoned uh, power uh, distribution systems. Um, and uh, and those relics of energy, right, and power, um, and how they relate to uh, nature and the reclamation of those those um, old sort of industrial artifacts, um, and uh, the the transformation um, between sort of a, a modern, clean, um, more refined uh, man-made landscape um, to a more uh, more naturalistic um, and the stages in, in between those those things. So uh, the show organizers asked each of the entries to select a color as a sort of under theme for their area, so that there be red, yellow, blue, you know, all the way through the spectrum. And we chose yellow um, because this time of the year it's a very bright color. People want to see sunshine. They want to know um, be aroused by by the warmth and all that so that's how why we why I chose yellow and we're gonna be showing that in various ways um, with flowers obviously and a lot of spring blooming flowers that have that yellow color and um, also the lighting that we have will also be included in that yellow spectrum of, uh, yeah so I uh, I don't think the goal of the exhibit this year is sing is singular in nature. Um, I think that it's it's multifaceted. Um, always one of Temple's main goals is to educate educate um, viewers and uh, and exhibit visitors, um, give them something that they can they can take with them um, when they leave the show. Um, and not only that, but make them think for themselves um, uh, by asking questions, posing questions to. To, to visitors, um, sometimes deeper questions that we don't answer in the exhibit either. Um, why recycle? Why reuse things? Um, why is that important? So we have four different uh, teams. Um, the first is the emergent woodland, which is the idea that an abandoned power station or, or electrical artifacts from the past is being reclaimed by nature, and uh, so things are left standing in their telephone poles and, and electrical towers, but they're being taken over by vines, and uh, pioneer species are coming in, so that's kind of that uh, story. Um, the precipice is going to be the, the tallest part of the exhibit. Um, we always try to have a focal area that's very tall and can be seen from uh, across the way, so people are drawn to our exhibit. And um, so that's going to be sort of a reminiscent of the Wissahickon Valley in terms of the rocks that we're trying to represent and that kind of thing. It's not a literal interpretation, obviously it's indoors, but we're going to have some water elements of, and part of that. We have um, the path that runs through the exhibit is going to transition from uh, people from one to the area. We, we are having a walkthrough exhibit on the corner so that people have a chance to get up close and smell the flowers and, and feel the water and, and sort of be immersed into our exhibit. And then um, the final part of that is what we're calling transformative towers. So those are uh, relic um, steel towers that we're going to embellish in various ways and bring, and it's going to be a more geometric, uh, orthogonal kind of design with that as opposed to a naturalistic type of design. Yeah, so the, the, the completed design for, for this year's flower show exhibit um, evolved over months, months and months um, through, through sort of a collaboration between students, faculty, uh, PHS <laughs> as well, um, obviously they, they get a say. Um, Yes, yeah, so there's students working in collaboration um, with, with other students as well as well as, as, well as Mike and myself. Um, they took took large concepts and tried to break them down into 
elements um, that can be included within the exhibit, and those elements each tell a story, right? And so from, from element telling a story to uh, like a subsection of the exhibit telling a story to the whole exhibit making a statement. So this new space that we're located in has um, a great high ceiling, lots of light. Um, this space provides flexibility in terms of, of uh, where we're building things. We can get the entire exhibit in one space, which was a challenge in years past. We, had, we didn't have a room big enough to accommodate the entire exhibit. So we're building it life-size right now. And um, it's approximately 30 feet by 20 feet by 20 feet. So we have the room here to do that and to actually build things um, where they're going to be and work on making the effects that we want to create here. So that, that's a real, a real plus. And um, we have light coming in in this room from all three sides, which is really amazing. So uh, we used to just have <clears throat> small windows and, you know, it was... It really felt. Uh... Yeah, so I, uh, I, I worked on a, a flower show exhibit myself in, in 2014. Um, that, that flower show exhibit was called uh, Tamina's Track, the Path to the Portrayal of the Past. Yeah, so I think the, one of, the, one of the, the big things that I got out of um, the experience of building the flower show as, as a student, right, was um, Really, the teamwork with my uh, fellow my fellow classmates, and um, what what that brought um, to me personally and and professionally, I think the the construction knowledge as well is also something that is very valuable in the professional world um, that a lot of other universities don't um, don't touch on as heavily as as Temple does. Um, not only that, but the the rewarding nature of, of building something at school. Um, not only yourself, but just in general, seeing a project that you worked on and designed come to fruition um, in such a short period of time is, is very rewarding. Um, and to be, to be part of that again and watching I mean, other students go through that, um, that experience is, is wonderful as well. Our, traditionally, our, our goal is to not preach to people so much as to ask them questions and make them think on their own formulate their own ideas as they leave the show. So a lot of the signage and things like that will ask the questions like, you know, what, what, what's, what's next for you? What can you do at home to emulate some of these uh, attitudes or perspectives? Um, how can you, rather than taking things down and throwing them away, can you repurpose something? Can you reimagine it as something else? And so that it's not usually our tech, our style to preach to people too much, but to just sort of plant the germ and let them answer the questions on their own time and think about it as they go home. And, and the spring comes soon enough and things will be popping up out of the ground and they'll be thinking, how can I provide a place that has some spark of energy in my garden that will um, help to enliven it and make it more interesting?